coming back, uh, being able to be back on my team, doing what I love is uh, it's amazing. How are you feeling out there right now? I'm feeling good. Feeling great. How close feeling blessed. You, how close are you to, to actually playing in a game? You feel like body wise. Uh, well, we don't have a game till September, so uh, we're just being progressive, uh, taking progressive. Uh, by the time game time, I'll be out there ready. So right now, just being smart. It's springtime. We got a lot of time, so. I still have months to rehab and get stronger until it's time to uh, really go. Were you, were you able to use your time away where you weren't on the field to just at least kind of keep sharp mentally in terms of football, like, you know, kind of keeping up on, you know, your, your assignments and everything? And yeah, I mean, uh, being here five years now, I know the offense inside and out, so now I kind of focus more on uh, techniques. How can I get better at the small things? So. Uh, knowing what's going on is not my problem anymore, so it's just fine-tuning my game. Uh, I'm a veteran now, so just the assignments is second nature, so I don't even kind of think about that. <laughs> you had an amazing recovery just to, to run around a little bit last mm -hmm. fall camp. I remember what progress have you made since last August? Uh, I made a lot of progress. I mean, looking back from a year now, I couldn't walk, so uh, now mm -hmm. we're on the field. Sometimes I get ahead of myself and want to do a lot. So just being able to sit down and look back and be thankful. Last year I was on two crutches in the bed. Now I'm running on the field, just uh, being grateful and uh, giving thanks. How do you make sure that you don't maybe push yourself too far when you're when you're out there on practice and on the field and don't get ahead of yourself? Uh, I leave that up to Hugo, our sports science guy. I wear a GPS system and he has a live feed going up. So. Uh, Every second he can go look at with an app on his phone that knows how much I did, how hard I've been going to. So when he says it's done, it's done. Are you but, finding a lot of times though that he's after, he's having to say, hey, take it, slow down a little bit? Uh, no, the first couple of days was pretty solid. So I think it's about time to get down when I want to do more. And he, I think it's going to get more challenging as time goes on for is him. That, is that just during practice or do you wear that? You know, all day. Uh, I wear it just during practice uh, when I'm doing uh, stuff on the field. Dakota said you were the first guy to reach out to him. What's kind of been your impression of him so far? <laughs> Dakota, uh, he's a funny guy. He, uh, yeah, me and him are good friends. We hang out all the time. What kind of game does he have in your view so what far? Kind of game? Uh, it's kind of early yeah. to uh, say uh, he's trying to pick up with the speed and everything is going 100 miles an hour for him right now. So I think by week three, week by the time the spring is over, we'll be able to get a great feel on uh, him and what he's ca uh, capable of. What do you think Johnny and Evan were able to do uh, and kind of develop with you being out? Uh, I think they was able to get experience. Uh, seeing when I was playing, I was playing about 70, 65, almost 90% of the plays when I was uh, playing. So they, be, they was able to get a full season of experience. And uh, with that experience, this is just gives us depth and just make us great. So now I wouldn't have to play so many plays. It, it kind of makes you guys one of the deeper position groups, probably if, if and not the Pac-12, but probably the country. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Off the top of my head, somebody that has three solid tight ends that can uh, get out there and make stuff happen. I think we might be the deepest at tight end. Were you surprised at all about just all the attention that you got about kind of your recovery and your injury and everything? Uh, not really seeing that it was on national TV and uh, injuries like that. Like I always think of like Deshaun Livingston, like you remember those type of injuries, Marshawn Lattimore, you know, and uh, just to be able to see people hard work and seeing all those guys come back. Deshaun Livingston's on the Warriors now. So uh, just seeing that is people like that, people, uh, attract to that, you know. You got a message for people that have been rooting for you all this time? Uh, just thank you for the support. Uh, yeah, I appreciate it. I read all the fan mail that I got and uh, yeah, visit the schools and everything. So I'm just thankful that it was uh, to have the support of everybody and uh, look forward to seeing everybody spring game in this season. What was the biggest thing you missed about being off the field? Off the field. Hmm. Probably playing on Saturdays. Uh, it's tough just watching from the sideline, so that's probably what it is, just running out the tunnel, just being there. Probably a weight game, that's what it is. I changed my answer. <laughs> when, <laughs> being in Eugene, nobody's here, and it's just you on your couch watching the game. None of your friends are there, so you're just a loner for the weekend. Uh, that's probably the worst part. Are you guys quiet during the games, or are you vocal? You know? 
throwing your hands up. I actually had a couple friends over and they asked a question like, what's this place? So it was like, I, I can't really watch it because everybody's just like asking me what's going on. So uh, <laughs> I found myself just watching it by myself as the season went on. Awesome.